What's going on, my crew? This is Rusty, and welcome to another episode of Rusty Builds. In today's episode, we are going to start in shaders. Uh, as you guys can see, my inventory is quite full, but I am trying to keep it clean. I have been doing a lot of work off camera. You guys will see we're in Flergo Ruins today. Uh, I think I told you guys we we're gonna be finishing up the palace before we talk walked over here, but I decided to give you guys a little cliffhanger. We have the entirety, with the exception of the catacombs, ruin made. Uh, and I want to take you through as if you were here. So you, we're, we're gonna pretend you have just walked in and into the Temple of Snice. And you have said, I have unfortunately lost a family member of mine. So the priests will say, all right, come down with us with the person in question who is now gone. And you would make a small sacrifice on a table that would be here. Uh, something like a... A uh, goat or a sheep or whatever uh, And that would actually be used and cooked for a funeral feast that you would have uh, If you were getting married or something you would go out here, but this has collapsed This goes out to a spot that I will show you in a little bit uh, Would have gone out uh, So we're gonna come down here and Down here is where the funeral would take place so there's gonna be a small statue oh there we go now we got good FPS uh, there's gonna be a small statue here uh, in the middle this is where the funeral rites would be done uh, and then you would go off with the friends and the family and you would go off to have the feast uh, off probably up there maybe uh, I, this is a little bit of a Bleak Falls Barrow inspiration. So I did campfires in these little trap doors and it nicely creates this stairs that you can actually walk up and down without having to jump. Uh, so we come down here and this is the embalming chamber. So there's going to be a little table that we put here uh, where the person will be embalmed. Um, because they they practice embalming, which means that they're going to keep the body wrapped up, uh, which which may mean that they believe that the person can actually go with the stuff that they had in life. So if you buried them with gold or something, that maybe in the afterlife they would have that. And then down here, uh, we get a little water. And that's going to go into this little grate and go off somewhere else. This is going to end up being open because this is going to be uh, part of the catacombs. So this is going to be one of the... Um, I, I, it's going to be a specific area where people are buried. And then they will bring the body to whatever catacombs. Uh, we'll probably build another catacomb this way. Uh, which is just going to be a winding tunnel uh, with... A bunch of chests and uh, where the bodies will be laid um, kind of one of these things where I'm not gonna I'm probably gonna show it to you guys but I'm not gonna um, make a big video about catacombs or anything uh, then finally the priests will take the body they'll make another sacrifice uh, here where there'll be a little bit bigger of an altar and they will come down here and place the body in one of the places. Now here is the inner sanctum. This is where there will actually be a very large, uh, basically the statue of Snice. Um, there may or may not be doors here that lead back up to the main temple. Uh, that we may, you know, have a little loop and a little loop. Uh, but I kind of like the idea that only the priests come down here. 
that only the priests are allowed to actually enter into the Temple of Snice. Uh, but after that, there is one final place, and this is where we're going to have uh, some serious FPF drops. But we'll do it anyways. Right up here. Boom. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to cut down some of these trees. All of the trees. And there's going to be an altar here. So i got to cut down all this snow. There's going to be a big altar. And this is where uh, they believe that the actual uh, real offering to Snice is uh, taking place. Alright, we are back with beautiful FPS now. Uh, so yes, um, that is the sort of place of the Temple of Snice. Uh, thank you, uh, Matteo, for helping inspire me with the ideas that we've got for this temple, including the name. I want to give uh, credit where credit's due there. Uh, this would have been the chamber where you would have come out if you were, say, getting married. Um, so if you're getting married, you're going to come out here and you're going to make a sacrifice uh, for good, a good marriage, um, healthy children, all of those types of things. All right, you guys, we're back, and I am ready to go. We've got a bunch of different blocks on the menu here. We got tough, uh, stone bricks, gravel, andesite, stone, and cobblestone, obviously First things first that we're going to do with fortune is uh, get rid of some of these ores. Um, what are we going to talk about today while we build? I was actually noticing quite a few of you um, are actually interested in what I talk about. Um, and I'm happy that that's the case because it's often kind of weird when you're doing this thing um you sort of feel like i'm literally just trying to convert all of these over like that because this is really what i want oh uh i didn't remove these um it's really weird when when you're doing let's plays because on one hand you kind of can sometimes make an assumption that people actually don't care um and that's probably somewhat true uh i know there's a lot of people that watch my channel um that may or may not be watching it because they want to just know about me uh, I guess we did need that shovel. <laughs> uh, and that's kind of what I would like my audience who's watching me to, to kind of be about. is not just an audience about, hey, I want to, uh, to see what Rusty builds or um, they just want to, uh, they're, they're just interested in um, what I create, uh, I do hope that I build a pretty good audience that's also interested in, uh, me as a person. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because as a YouTuber, whatever I make, if I make something that is something that people want to see obviously that's great but if I can build an audience of people who you know what I'm just realizing this doesn't make much sense to have any of this mossy stuff here so I'm gonna remove that mossy stuff really only would be in an area where there can be some sunlight but not too much, and especially in here, even when the sun is shining in here, it ain't gonna show much over here. So, just gonna remove that. Uh, probably should bring them off the bar. 
There we go. And that way, it's not a temptation. Uh, do I want andesite? Kind of looks like it's scuffed up. I think we either need to choose andesite or this tuft. And I think what we're going to do, actually, is the tuft is going to go. Uh, and we're sort of getting three stages of this um, of this wall. So there's the uh, brick, the cracked brick, where there's a lot of stress on it. Uh, and then the andesite, where it's been scraped up and, and all sorts of stuff. And then finally, we'll have the gravel, where it's uh, crumbling. Um, all right, andesite, andesite, perfect. And then probably, where there's a bunch of gravel, we'll probably add some gravel in on the floor to kind of make it look like it's... Uh, and maybe even something like this to make it look like there's it, it's fallen out a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's keep going here. We'll pull Tuft off the, the menu now that we've got a, a palette here a little bit. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, it's kind of something that you want to see is people who are interested in what you're interested in or you, I mean, uh, because that means that as people are watching, uh, if I decide that I'm going to make a video about something that I've never made before, uh, maybe I want to play a game that I haven't played before. Uh, those are the type of people who are going to be watching. Um, and of course, it doesn't mean that I can't have that or that I don't need to focus on having interesting commentary. Uh, that's obviously a pretty big priority uh, that I need to to make. But um, if for whatever reason I decide later on to uh, stop playing Minecraft and and play uh, Stardew Valley. Um, if you're interested in me and my commentary rather than just the builds or, or whatever, uh, then you'll probably stick around. But if you're interested in, um, just the builds, you'll probably move on. This is going to be pretty easy and then we'll also have some andesite we put in and then some tuft okay and then like I said do something down here and that way well ooh, I know what we'll do we'll do this the blood will flow into there I like it. Okay. And then I think we're just going to add some stairs in like that. And then some half slabs up at the top. Don't. Yeah, let's do this. Ooh. That might look cool. Let's do this. That way it gives some interest. It's like, oh, what's what's this over here supposed to be for? Um, oh, and we were going to add some magma block brazers. So there's going to be one, I'm thinking, maybe we'll put it in the wall. I like that idea, actually. We'll do like, whoops. Um, cracked. And what did we have before? Well, we'll just do gravel. Or maybe we'll, ooh, maybe we'll go like this. That'll go there. And then the acacia trap door goes right here. 
All right? And then let's let's just for a quick second pop this off. I want to see is that Oh yeah. Take a look at that. And then we can put another one in this corner here. So we'll do wherever there's a brazier, there'll be like this, like almost like it, this is the eye. Oh yeah, that gives like a small bit of glow. Um, and what we could do, I was actually thinking about this as well. Uh, that's not going to work. Um, if we were to take this out and actually put this here, kind of gives this look that there's, I know we can't make these into like, um, uh, what do you call them? Um, stairs, but maybe if we like do that, it looks like it's broken down. No. I want it to look like there's embers falling out. Yeah, there we go. So that's kind of like the embers fell out, spilled over. This is going to need to be fixed. But basically what I'm thinking we could do is have, they're like little frost, they're called frost heaves. And basically it would be like this. So, whoops. Um, we would just have these like this and this would just be up a little bit and maybe maybe there would be even a little bit more up and the idea behind this just so you guys know is the ground kind of pushes in and creates this like bloop because the water underneath crystallizes and it expands and the ground can't really handle it so it kind of creates this i mean frost heave effect here so something that wasn't supposed to kind of be there but i don't i don't think i actually like that double effect the single effect kind of cool double not feeling it kind of liked it like this i think this kind of looks i think good might lessen it a little bit do something like this just to give a little bit of interest it's it's a little bit up above uh kind of screws up this looking like this it gives you a feel of like hmm i wonder why that's like that but it's a ruin so they're not walking around it they're not all of this like you know using it there's not fires here keeping this place warm it's just the embers the ever burning embers uh that are left so kind of like that uh and then as we get closer to here we can start to use some of that mossy cobblestone so let's throw in some of that uh and i want to just quickly finish up what I was saying. Um, yeah, so I definitely feel like as we move forward, uh, it's important to recognize and remember that, um, oh yeah, we were gonna use Tuft for this as well. Uh, it's important to remember that uh, those of you guys that are really truly interested in in these little talks that I do in my day-to-day -day life um don't mind my cat she's telling me to go to bed <laughs> uh I want to thank you personally because uh, it means a lot that you're sticking around to listen to me um talk and and not just here to learn or be inspired but you're actually interested in me and uh that's a pretty big deal actually
So once we add candles in here, hopefully it, it adds just a little less ambiance. So, it seems like it's a cloudy day outside. Uh, either that or it's turning nighttime. Oh, well, there's a lot more sunlight down here, that's for sure. Uh, this doesn't appear to be growing, which is okay. Uh, but, yeah, when you come through here, ooh. It just definitely gives this feel, this vibe of, of a ruined uh, area. Uh, and as we come down this way, it's only gonna gonna repeat itself. And then, of course, like I said before, uh, as we sort of do these rooms, we're gonna add more decoration and stuff. This is kind of a, a education for myself. That's interesting, the snow is reflective. Uh, this is gonna be kind of an education for myself in learning to do some interior design because I'm not so good at interior design and I'm really looking forward at uh, doing some more of that. So, great. So we'll uh, sort of end the other episode here, guys. I hope that was uh, fun kind of doing a tour of this uh, as I dug it out and everything. And like I said, I hope you guys are going to be excited when we move back to the palace build. Uh, just wanting to build a little uh, suspension and tension. What is uh, it going to look like? How is it going to be? Um, maybe I'll do interior stuff there to surprise you. Maybe I won't. Probably won't. But maybe I will. Um, but uh, I kind of wanted to finish uh, the episode up over here. Just to give you guys some excitement and talk about, you know, uh, probably tomorrow if I'm able to and get, whoops, uh, enough time in my day, I will upload us uh, doing a statue uh, making of uh, Snice. Um, we'll probably do like some uh, Creative Labs episode of us designing uh, this god and, and what he's going to look like. Uh, that I, I may get a little bit creative and cinematic uh, with you guys. Um, and I hope you guys will enjoy, but that cinematic stuff may come with a little bit of some cheaty stuff. Not as in I'm going to cheat in items, but I'm going to cheat in entities for us to play around with. So, anyways... Uh, that's gonna do it for today's episode, you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you did it, make sure to leave a like on it for me. It helps me out a lot. And if you really enjoyed, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button, um, if you feel I've earned it. But until next time, guys, happy mining and crafting!